I remember just going in my closet and I had a pair of leggings and I thought like, I'm just gonna do it. And I had tightened it around my neck and you were right outside my door, you know? But I heard you start to get up and I panic and I pulled it out and I, I think you walked in and I was just laying on the ground in my closet. I think I told you, like I just attempted. I was, I was upset, I was like, why would you not let me, why would you not let me take my own life? Like get out of here. We were on a mission and we had an accident. A vehicle rolled over. Um, my gunner was killed. One of my teammates was killed in the, and he was sitting up in the gun. And I was thrown on my head from 15 feet in the air um, and was unconscious for quite some time, uh, was pulled out. And because of that, because it was a team that I was trying to reconstruct, which isn't the easiest thing to do in the world, they had a lot of hard feelings towards me and used that opportunity to basically uh, tell command and leadership that I wasn't to be trusted as a leader. Following my experience with my dad, um, certain images of traumatic experiences burn themselves into your brain and you see them every time you close your eyes. And for me, the image of my dad uh, hanging in the shower um, was one of those things. sharing like my lowest it's really the least I can do I can do because like if sharing can help someone like even if there's just one person listening right now getting the tiniest little spark of hope just knowing that like people struggle like it's completely worth it there's really two things that I can attribute to me still being here and still fighting the fight because I still struggle I still have bad days and I have great days. One is a belief in God and my faith that he is there and he exists and I have felt his spirit upon me. And number two is the people around you. That level of empathy makes such a difference. And empathy, I've found more often than not, leaves me without words which is a frustrating place to be, but it's an honest place to be, and that's okay too. You don't have to have words for someone's trauma that you don't understand because you don't understand, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Just telling someone, I don't understand what you're going through, but I'm willing to listen if you want to try to explain it to me, uh, that can be huge. That's exactly what happened with Jesus Christ. Uh, we can read in the scriptures that he was in the Garden of Gethsemane experiencing, this pain, experiencing all of this pain, and he says, take my pain away. Father, can't you take this away from me? And he says, no. And instead he sends an angel to sit with him. And we can do that same thing. We can be that angel 